consent for one minute of floor time to speak to the uh, impending nomination. The Senator from Delaware and without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to thank uh, my colleague and senior senator, my friend, uh, Senator Tom Carper, who allows me to be his wingman here on the floor of the Senate and in our home state of Delaware. I just wanted to speak briefly uh, to the outstanding qualifications of the nominee that will be before us in, in a moment, uh, Greg Williams of Delaware. As a member of the Delaware Bar, as a member of the Judiciary Committee, uh, I've joined my senior senator, friend, and colleague in advancing this nomination. Uh, both uh, suggesting to the White House strongly that he would be an excellent uh, next member of the important federal bench in Delaware, uh, and that he would represent uh, our nation well and contribute to our federal judiciary, which is globally the gold standard uh, for its uh, capability, its independence, and its integrity. Um, Greg has practiced for decades in Delaware. Uh, he is one of the best respected leading complex commercial litigators and an experienced intellectual property litigator the District of Delaware is one of the busiest federal courts in our entire country because of our unique place in American corporate law, uh, because of the quality and the competence of our bench. Um, we handle an enormous number of patent cases, a significant number of corporate cases. I don't know if my colleagues mentioned one of the uh, top of the charts cases about to come to Delaware. Uh, but when you uh, make a promise to purchase a company like, I don't know, hypothetically Twitter, and then the deal comes apart, that ends up in a Delaware court called our Chancery Court. Our federal district court and our federal bankruptcy courts handle significant litigation. Um, Greg, someone who also, um, as a family man, as a person of faith, as an outstanding leader uh, in our community, as the past president of the Bar Association, uh, as the past chairman of the Judicial Nominating Commission uh, on behalf of our governor, he has served our community. He brings his heart, his values, his intellect, and his skill to his service each and every day. Uh, and I'm honored to join my senior center in speaking on his behalf on the floor. And I look forward to working with my colleagues across the aisle to ensure a swift confirmation vote today. Thank you, and Mr. President, with that.